Dang, look at it go. Isn't it just beautiful? But wait, this doesn't look like our normal printer. That's because it's not. Oh my god. Look at this bad boy. Today I'm going to be bringing you a review of, as you can see right there, the Raze 3D $4,000 printer. Now, you might be thinking, compared to this guy, yeah, this guy looks like a lot more. This guy was only about $400 when we bought it, and now it is only, I think, $375 Amazon Prime. I'll make sure to link this guy back down in the description. Also, we got our nice ball bearings for some of those people watching the last video. This works great. It is probably the greatest mod you could put on this printer. So, all right, that's not the key importance of this video. This video, we are going to be going over this Raze 3D printer. So, let's just start it off. First off, it can do ABS, PLA, all different types, pretty much all the filaments you can think of that get up to about 400 degrees Celsius for the extruder. As you can see, it has a nice color touch screen here with, we have Tune, where you can literally change everything from the printer while it's still printing. This is the progress of my print. Yes, I started a print, and I hopefully will have it done by the time this video is over. Currently has 36 minutes left. This is your time estimated. Percentage complete. Layers, you can also change the setting. It'll show 48.3% done on layers, which doesn't really make sense. You got your stop start. Then down here, tune. Takes you into all your settings. Utilities is like, you can change the bed temp and everything. Print, it's where you can see all the things we have on our printer. It has a local storage so that you can actually save things directly to this hard drive via Bluetooth or Wi-Fi, whatever you want to do. That looks like a nice ventilation hole right there for the little processor in here. I'm assuming uh, it may not be too small. I know this is a, like a 32-bit actual computer in here. So then we've got two, I think that's yeah, two USB ports. We got dual extruding. Two wheels for the dual extruders. This door does open. Ugh, if I can get it, it's a, just a magnet. I know I'm weak, sorry. All right, that'll close. Hopefully that didn't screw up my print. Obviously the front door into the mag magic. Right now, as you can see, it is actually using the left extruder. I don't know if it's started on the right extruder yet. This is a dual colored print, so you can do single colored prints if you're interested, just in case. And then you've got a whole 360 gloss, like plexiglass, I guess, view all the way around. As you can see, it's kind of dirty in there. It has LED lights, a lot of them, uncompared to that guy, has one on the extruder. And it also has a camera in there. You can see it. It is right there. Oh, come on, focus up. Right there. So we could do some nice time lapses here in the future. Let's see, what else does this bad boy have? Oh, it also has a dome that goes over the top for ventilation. It has a HEPA filter way back here, right there, as you can see. Nice HEPA filter so that you're not gonna be dying when the ABS plastic chemical goes everywhere. Not sure how often you have to uh, replace those. Same with, we haven't quite figured out how often you have to re-lubricate these uh, Oh, the bars because right now it just slides on the bars and it came pretty heavy lubricated so probably not for a while now but yeah now I'm gonna show you the 3d printing software yeah I know I'm gonna make a video on uh, <laughs> on the new setup too. just all the stuff it's definitely changed all right this is the software let's just get a new one I'm going here um all right, so this is the software you do. All you do is you drop it in there, and then you'll connect. And see, he, this is the same interface you see on the um, touch screen. You can tune it, utilities, print. You can even, if you really want to, pull up this, and there it is. Now, I'm still trying to figure out how to get this to record. It says it can, but I'm assuming that it'll need an external hard drive just due to the fact that I think it's a four gigabyte storage on the actual printer itself so nothing too insane but yeah other than that that is the raise 3d printer made by raise 3d as you can see right there um like i said it is definitely worth the four thousand if you're trying to go into some sort of business in 3d printing uh, 
because it, it's the most quality prints you can buy on a desktop printer. Um, we actually looked into it and it won the 2017 best desktop printer out there. So, I mean, I think they might take a little bit of uh, pride in that. And that's also like the pricing, like Apple. But other than that, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll see you all next time. Make sure to like and subscribe.